Edward Buck is easily the most seasoned of Fireteam Osiris, having served since nearly the start of the Human Covenant War. Buck was born on August 22, 2510, in New Albany, Lombard, on Draco III. The son of a dock worker, Buck grew up learning how to fish with his uncle. When the Covenant War started, Buck felt he had to enlist, and did so two years later on December 5, 2558. Buck was trained at several facilities on both Earth and Reach, and received top marks at sniper school. By 2531, Buck had been deployed to Harvest, where he received commendations for his actions. Buck would continue to serve on the front lines for nearly two decades. In 2545, following an extended period of cryosleep, Buck awoke to discover that his homeworld of Draco III had been hit by the Covenant. Following the initial glassing, Ungoy and Kigyar were deployed to hunt down survivors, devouring them in a few cases. It was after this that Buck joined the ODSTs. Within the same year, Buck's commanding officer noted his destructive behavior, born from an extreme hatred of the Covenant following the glassing of Draco III, and ordered Buck to take some shore leave. Buck took his leave at Castellaneta, a station near Saturn where he met Veronica Dare. The two spent an active week together, but things soon fell apart when Buck discovered Dare was an Oni agent. He didn't handle it well, and the two parted on poor terms. A year later in 2546, Buck and his squad, Alpha 9, were tasked by Veronica Dare no less to recover research data from a Lethbridge industrial site on Sargasso. A second squad, Gamma 6, would be deployed to distract local Covenant forces. Alpha 9 did encounter resistance, but thanks to Gamma 6, it was minimal and Alpha 9 was easily able to finish their mission. However, on the way to the extraction zone, Buck discovered that Gamma 6 was getting hit. Hard. With the support of his squad, Buck diverted their transport towards Gamma 6's location. Upon arriving, they found only one member alive, Sarah Palmer. Alpha 9 and Palmer proceeded to eliminate the local Covenant forces, then head to the extraction zone. Though Buck was berated for going off mission, he was ultimately not reprimanded. On August 23, 2552, Buck and a new Alpha Squad were present in New Alexandria when the city came under Covenant bombardment. With the help of Spartan B-312 of Noble Team, Buck and what remained of his squad were successfully evacuated. Two months later, on October 20, 2552, Buck and Alpha 9, comprised of Corporal Taylor Dutch Miles, Lance Corporal Koju Romeo Agu, Private Michael Mickey Crespo, and new member Lance Corporal J.D., the rookie, were one of several squads to be deployed to hijack a Covenant assault carrier. However, the squad was commandeered by Veronica Dare for a classified mission. Before the squad hit the ground, the assault carrier, Solemn Penance, made a sudden slipspace jump which killed most of the ODST squads and scattered Alpha 9. Buck immediately went to work finding his scattered squad and getting them out of the city. Against all odds, every member had survived their fall and their battles with Covenant occupational forces. Alpha 9 was ultimately able to hijack a Phantom, capture an Engineer, and evacuate just as more Covenant forces started appearing to glass what remained of the city. Buck and Veronica even managed to reconcile. Over the next month, Alpha 9 was tasked with guarding the Engineer before being redeployed. Following the war, Buck and Veronica took some personal time to heavily enjoy each other's company. Near the end of their vacation, however, Buck was visited by June A266 with an offer to join the Spartan 4 program. Buck declined, the only person to ever do so, citing his desire to remain with his squad. The visit sparked a discussion between Buck and Dare about their future. Ultimately, they both decided that retirement and marriage wouldn't suit them, though that wouldn't stop them from having a stable relationship going forward. In 2554, Buck and Alpha 9 were deployed to Draco 3 to quell an insurrectionist uprising. During the mission, the rookie was captured by the insurrectionist leader. Dutch and Mickey tried to sneak around to save their squad mate, but were too slow and the rookie was ultimately killed. The insurrectionist uprising was put down nonetheless, but the loss of a squad mate, especially now that the war was over, weighed on the survivors. Dutch retired, desiring more than ever to be with his wife. Buck was again approached with an offer to join the Spartan Fours, this time with the promise that his squad could join too. Buck accepted, as did Romeo and Mickey. What was left of Alpha 9 remained intact, and the squad of newly minted Spartan Fours proved themselves on multiple missions. Then came Talitza. Once again going up against insurrectionists, Alpha 9 was tasked with retrieving the very engineer they had extracted from New Mombasa not even three years before, along with its handler, Sadie and Desha. During the mission, Mickey revealed himself to be a traitor. The death of the rookie and the guilt Mickey felt for failing to save him, coupled with his distaste for fighting fellow humans, left the young Spartan open to the propaganda of the United Rebel Front. Surrounded by insurrectionists and a traitor Spartan, Buck and Romeo had no choice but to surrender. On their way to the insurrectionist compound, Buck and Romeo, using their infamous mouths, were able to get Mickey and the insurrectionists to slip up for the briefest of moments. It was enough to give the Spartans a chance to turn the tables. 
Romeo managed to grab a rifle and take out the insurrectionists, while Buck and Mickey exchanged blows. Ultimately, Buck won, just barely holding back from killing the traitorous Spartan. Exhausted from his bout and needing to keep an eye on Mickey, Buck had Romeo clear out the insurrectionist camp and recover the Huragok and Sadie. Upon reuniting with Oni forces, Buck refused to hand Mickey over, wanting instead to hand him over to the Spartan branch commander, Musa 096. Following the mission to Talitsa, Buck requested not to be placed in a leadership position for a while, a request Commander Musa obliged. Now, in late 2558, Buck has been recruited as part of the newly formed Fireteam Osiris. With human colonies coming under Forerunner fire and the Spartan twos of Blue Team AWOL, Osiris has a difficult task ahead of them. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.